Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and obviously by the thumbnail and the title you guys already know what today's video is going to be. I am so excited to film this video. You have no idea. Today's video is going to be a review on the new setting powders and concealers from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I have three of the Magic Star concealers and two of the Magic Star setting powders. I am so excited. <laughs> Oh my god. So I haven't got anything on my face right now because I did actually get a green concealer for redness. So I'm going to test out the green concealer, put foundation on, and then we'll do concealer and powder. I'm going to give you 100% honest review. I'm going to see if these have plush... What? <laughs> I'm going to see if these have flashback, if these crease, because on the box it says set your life into place, creasing who? Can't relate. So I'm actually really intrigued to see how this all works. I haven't used any of this, so that's going to be 100% first impressions on my half. So if you want to know my review on these bad boys, just keep on watching. Okay, so I've just zoomed you in a little bit so you can like see everything on my face. It is very, very gloomy today. So I'm going to try and use my light on my mirror to get more casting on this side of my face. But if the lighting's bad, I apologize. Basically, I'll talk about the powder first. So this is what the powder looks like. I got translucent and fair. You've probably already seen all this if you're a fan of Jeffree. I'm just showing you again because why not? So this is what it looks like. This logo on that side. The other side says weightless, flawless, ultra fine. See your life in a place creasing who can't relate. Beauty tip. Ooh. Press lightly onto skin wherever you desire. I love using a damp beauty sponge to press the product into the skin so the powder melts and looks airbrushed. Okay. And then you open the bad boy. I did open these and look at the packaging so nothing broke, but I haven't like tested it out. So this is the translucent one. So this is the actual packaging for the powder. So that's the bottom, which just says translucent. Made in USA. This is 10 grams of product which is pretty decent. So you open it up and this is what is in the inside. I actually love this idea where you have to turn it to actually open it. This is a little tab where you can actually take product out. So I'm really, really excited to try the powder out because you guys know I love loose powder and like baking, I guess. So I'm really excited to try this out. So I have a translucent and also fair so I can bake with the translucent and like set the rest of my face with the fair. Now with the concealers, he has 30 concealers. So I had to like pick and choose which color I think would suit me. I ended up getting C2, C4 and the green because if you know me I have very red skin that gets really irritated. So I picked up the green one so I can cancel out redness before I put foundation on. I'll just show you the packaging but C2 I think is the lighter shade. They're very similar but they're not in a way. <laughs> But I just want to talk about the actual unicarton for a second. This is what the box looks like. He outdoes the packaging every single time. Full coverage, long wearing, anti-aging properties, natural matte finish. Blend into the skin with a makeup sponge, concealer brush, or fingers in a pressing motion until you get desired coverage. A little goes a long way. Okay, thanks for that, Jeffrey. But I love this, like, holographic type of deal. I freaking love that. The actual packaging of the concealer used to die for. So you've probably again all seen this. The top of this effing concealer wand. This is the most extra thing I've ever seen. This star is actually metal so you could probably stab one. Stab one? Stab someone. So this is the actual wand itself. So it looks like that. I haven't swatched any of this so I have no idea if it actually looks good on me or not. But this is C2 and I'll get C4 out to compare it. Jeez, they look really similar. They have different undertones I'm pretty sure. So this one is C2, this one is C4. So you can probably... You can't tell the difference, let's be honest. I'm going to test both out on my skin and see if they blend together very well. But again, like I said, I did get a green shade. He did come out with a green and a peach corrector. But this is the green shade. I'm going to put on my skin and my pimples and stuff before I put foundation on. So we'll see how this blends out. The packaging, the, okay, I opened it to see if anything was broken. And the first thing I noticed was it's so heavy. And it's not even the top that's really heavy. This bottle itself is heavy as shit. So I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> so for this one, I think I'm going to use a concealer brush. Whereas with these ones, I'll probably use a beauty blender because that's what I usually do with my concealers anyway. Okay, so I'm going to try and put this light on. Oh. Okay, Dokily, 
Alrighty, oh then. Let's try this concealer out. So I'm going to try out the green first. I do have a couple pimples, so I'm going to put this on them and then blend it out with a concealer brush. I might zoom in just a little bit more. So apparently in his video that you can like get a lot of product out of just one dip. So I'm excited to see how much. I don't know how much I'm actually going to cover up because there isn't a lot of redness today. But I'll, I'll cover up what it needs to be covered up. So this is the brush and we're going to put it on my skin. There's no fragrance. But this apparently smells like cotton candy. So I'm excited to see if I can actually smell that shit. So let's put this on. Oh, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my ch That's really nice. I'm just going to put it where my face is actually kind of more red. Okay, I look great. So what I'm going to do now is go a Morphe M173 brush. And I'm going to blend out my eyes really itchy. I'm going to blend out all of this to cancel out all the pigmentation. So it's actually blending pretty decently. But I don't really need it to blend 100% because it's going like under my foundation. Like I'm not really picky about it. I just want it to cancel out redness and not be seen throughout my foundation, if that makes any sense. Coverage is actually pretty decent. I can tell that the redness is going away. I feel like once I put it, the foundation on my skin, it's going to look good. But that's not too bad. All right. Okay, Jeffrey, I see you. So what I'm going to quickly do now is put my foundation on and then we'll go into concealer. I'm just probably going to skip this part because I'm just going to use my normal foundation. So I'm going to put a bit of this on. Like normal, I'm not going to change anything up. I'm going to put a normal amount on and we'll see if the concealer is good or not. <laughs> but I'm going to see if this gets covered by this because this is a pretty full coverage foundation. But I want to see if it like cancels out the redness. So we'll see. So I've just put my foundation on. I look really crazy. I did have to put like a little bit more foundation on over the green areas but I don't see any redness which I'm loving. <laughs> I rarely do with this foundation unless it's like I'm wearing it all day but it's pretty decent. It's not like I can't visibly see green. So now we're going to go into the actual concealer. I'm pretty sure C2 is lighter so I'm going to grab C2 which is this one. C4 is down the bottom. You can kind of tell right now the different undertones but unless you swatch it then you'll see. Maybe I should swatch on my hand first. Okay we'll swatch it on my hand first and see. C2. Oh, that looks really white. Because <laughs> he does have a pure white, so if you're very, very, very pale, you'll be fine. So this one here is C4, and this one down the bottom is C2. So C4 is much more like a nude based, I would say. And this is probably the one I'm going to be using under my eyes today. This is more of a highlighting one. This is more like to cancel out pimples or something. You can clearly tell the difference once you swatch them, but in the packaging it looks the same. So for obviously my under eyes, I'm going to use a lighter shade, which is C2. So let's grab this boy and do it under my eyes. Now I love a lot of concealer. You guys know that. So I'm going to put the same amount I would put on for like ColourPop or Tarte or whatever and just see how this works. So, ooh. All right. That's a decent color. I can tell you that though. So I'm not dipping back in, it's still the same brush, I'm just turning it around. And I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, usually if I'm using Tarte or something, I'd have to dip back in to get this amount of product. I don't have to do that today. Shit. That's one brush. I haven't dipped back in. Just saying. Holy shit. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab C4, which is a bit darker, and just add it to my cheeks and stuff. Just to add a little bit more coverage. But holy shit, this is pigmented. I look great. I look fantastic. So now I'm going to blend all of this out. I'm kind of scared. So I'm going to use the doe foot area of my beauty blender and just blend all of this out. I'm just really intrigued to do them under my eyes, so I'm going to quickly do this. It's a good shade for under my eyes, I can tell you that. <laughs> I just don't know. It's not really what I expected. Um, I don't really know how to respond. If I'm being completely honest, I could probably go in for another dip right now to get more coverage. So I think I might actually do that. So now going in with C2 again, I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just because it's not like full coverage enough for me. Is that weird? I don't know. Am I just really obsessed with full coverage? Okay, that's a bit better now. I'm going to mind going back in, but I just have to let you guys know that this is what I'm doing because, you know, it's a review. Okay, so I do look full coverage. Um, I don't know if you can tell under my eyes if it focuses on me. Thank you. <laughs> this is really bad angle. But it's blended well. It was a little bit hard, but my beauty blender isn't that wet, so I'm probably just going to blame it on the fact that I haven't really dampened my beauty blender a lot. It's a good 
color. I could probably go a little bit even lighter. I could have got C1, which I might get. It's pretty good. Now I just have to chest out this effing powder. So while I talk about the powder, I'll see if it creases or not. And then I'll let you guys know. So what I've seen people do is obviously open this little hatchet, whatever you want to call it. And then because I have long nails, uh, we're just going to... How easy was that? Oh. I'm not going to lie, I did open the fair one because I got this one first in the mail. I could not smell fairy floss whatsoever. This one I can. So what I've seen other people do on Instagram and Facebook Facebook is they've opened it. They're going to close the lid and shake it up and then there's going to be powder everywhere. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know how much I need. That's the thing. Oh, that actually smells really nice. If you could smell this, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so while talking to you, it's a little... It's not too bad. I've had worse. It's a little bit, and, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grab the other end of the Beauty Blender and grab this white-ass powder and bake with it. Oh, it smells really nice. <coughs> okay, it does leave a white cast, but I don't know if I should leave it on and then wipe it off and see. I will be testing if there is flashback. I will be taking a flash photo and putting on the screen for you guys, so don't worry about that. <coughs> it's a bit strong if you swallow it. So maybe don't swallow it. That'd be great. So I'm going to add some to my nose. Basically where I put the lighter concealer, I'm going to bake with the translucent powder. I don't know if I like the smell. Like, out of the carton, it smells great. When you put it on your face, it's a bit strong. All right. So what I'm going to do now is kind of let that sink in. So I'm actually going to put my eyebrows on off camera and then come back and do a little bit of the fair powder, like on my cheeks and stuff, and then blend out the translucent, take a photo, and we'll see if there's any flashback or not. So I'll be back on my, with some brows on, so I look a bit presentable, and we will see if this does anything. But I will leave this on my face until I do my brows. So let's put some brows on. <laughs> I'm back with brows on. Okay, so I've just taken a photo literally right before I started filming of what my face looks like right now so i'm gonna set the photo right now so what i'm gonna do is put some of this fair powder on this is the second lightest i think it's translucent fair and then a bunch of other shades like banana and stuff and obviously some darker shades from the darker people i'm gonna try my best to put this on on my cheeks and stuff and like blend out the bake so it's not as harsh yeah, I can't really smell this one. Okay, I'm just going to put some on the lid. Okay, we'll see if that's enough for now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get a big fluffy brush like I always would. This is the fluffy brush I'm going to use. And then I'm going to like bake here. Or not bake. But I'm going to set here and then like get a smaller brush and like wipe off this translucent. And then I'll take a photo and we'll see if it has any flashback. Because I've seen a lot of people talk good things about this and bad things. So we'll see. So I'm going to get my powder. I can kind of smell the cotton candy now. So I'm just going to set everywhere. I don't know if I could deal with that though. Tap off the excess and do the other side. I'm going to try not to talk during this because I'm going to go insane and have a coughing fit. So I'm going to do my forehead. Oh god. I'm not a massive fan of the scent. Maybe it's because it's so finely milled. Okay, so I'm going to grab a Morphe Jack and Hill brush. This is the JH07. It's like a dome foot brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of the fair powder on it. Not too much and wipe away the white translucent powder. So I'm just going to wipe this away. Holy shit. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's a smell. I don't know, but my, but my sense is, is not liking it. Okay, then I'm just going to get my fluffy brush and the excess powder that's in the lid. Not much, though. Like, it's really nothing. And just basically do this all over. Just so everything's kind of, like, settled in my face a bit. Okay, let me take a photo and we'll see. So, let's put the flash on. So, this is everything blender. So, this is obviously what I do in my normal step. And let's see if there's flashback or not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I that white? No. Oh. Is there flashback? You're taking the actual piss, really? Is that what I look? Okay, take another one just to see. Oh my god. My nose looks horrible. 
I don't know if this is a good review or not, guys. I'm gonna try and like move you a bit closer. So this is my under eye. Hi, how are ya? This is my under eye here that's creasing. So I don't know how that I feel about that. This is the other eye. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but like it's not on my nose properly. I don't know how to feel. It's not like over the top. Like I could probably use my air spun and be happy with it. You know what I mean? The concealer is nice. The powder, mm. I'd probably go back and buy some more concealers, but I'm probably planning on it. But the powder, I don't know. The powder is all right, I guess. I don't know if it's the concealer or the powder. I've seen kind of better results with ColourPop and Tarte and stuff like that, like concealer wise. Powder wise, it's okay. Like my skin kind of does this with every powder anyway. Like my skin's really weird. But with the photos I just took, I'm really concerned if there is flashback. I've just kind of blended it all out. So I'm gonna try and do this again. Let's do it again, okay? This was a brand new brush I just used, so I haven't like have powder on it or anything so let's do another photo and put the flash on i'm gonna turn this light off for just a second i know it's dark but just to actually get the full effect oh i just locked the phone wow okay okay oh oh my god that is not good not good at all i look good on camera right now but this is not a look oh my god i'm so shook guys i don't like the powder i love the concealer i just don't like the powder i'm conflicted <laughs> with the smell i hate the smell or the taste not the taste well yeah i kind of basically tasted it because it was strong as shit i don't like it the concealers are beautiful the green one i don't know if it is necessary for me to use on a daily basis maybe the days where i'm like really really red maybe i'll then i'll use them but these are beautiful i think i need to get c1 and maybe c0 which is the white one i'm gonna probably go buy them now because <laughs> i love the concealer it's just the powder mm. so concealer wise i would recommend the concealers 100 percent but the powders if you have oily skin well i have oily skin but i don't know if it's because of my skin type or what but i just probably would never use the powder just being honest not taking the piss but i don't know if you can tell but this is my face I'm still choking on that effing powder. Okay, let me zoom you out. Okay, guys, so my battery is currently dying, but this is the end of my review on the Jeffree Star Magic Star concealers and powders. I probably would not recommend the powders. If you had to get something from the powders or concealers, definitely get the concealers. I feel like the packaging is on point. The colors are phenomenal. The shade range is phenomenal. If you have a Pacific undertone, he has made you a concealer for you. Concealers, 110% yes. Powder... I'm like 50-50 on it. I'll probably use it like again and see if it does the same thing. But the flashback on that last photo I showed you guys is horrendous. I'm not taking the piss. It's horrendous. The fair one's pretty good. I think I might use a fair one because the fair doesn't give any flashback. But the translucent, however. So I might use a fair, but I'm probably never going to use a translucent. I'm probably just going to use my S-Bun. All I can say is 100% get the concealers. Find your shade and your undertone. I just found a swatch on someone's arm on Google. And then I just picked and choose which which one would suit me a bit better i am probably going to pick up the other two lighter shades the zero and the one just because i feel like i need that in my collection you know i'm kind of disappointed in the powder i'll probably use the fair one let's be honest but the translucent oh my god the flashback i can't deal with the flashback guys i really can't and the just the scent and the whiff i just i'm like it's in my lungs i'm gonna like <coughs> you know like it's just in there and i don't want like i don't want it to be in there my battery just died i apologize but with the concealers it is very up there with ColourPop and tarte because i love the ColourPop concealer and the tarte concealer you guys know that so it is very very up there i just had to do a little bit more coverage though so i don't maybe i just need to put a bit more on because i didn't put that much on let's be honest overall concealers yes powders no well the translucent one anyway the fair one is good but if you're a darker skin tone the topaz and like the other colors i can't remember the names of they'll be good for you but i don't think translucent is good for anyone if you don't want flashback you know if you want flashback go get it but i don't want flashback in my photos yeah that's my final review final review is concealers 100 yes powders 50 50 translucent absolutely no one thing before i go though i must admit i will try the translucent one again but i think i might have to mix it in with a different color because i can't deal with the flashback okay but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this review i know it's kind of a small one because i'm only doing like a certain amount of my face but i'm honestly shook at that photo like if i didn't take a photo for you guys i would probably promote it and be like hey get this and then you guys would get it and you'd be
Casper the Ghost. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up for me. If you have tried the concealer or the powder, let me know your thoughts and reviews on them in the comments down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, give it a thumbs up for me. If you are new here, please subscribe to my two videos with you guys every Monday and Thursday. I almost forgot the day that I upload. All my social media links will be down below in the screen box like always. Remember to spread love and stay positive and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I look crazy as shit. <laughs>